Now, we're definitely going to be taking out this segment from this full live stream. And if you're watching this segment right now, there's a full live stream. There's salutations at the beginning. I don't know what's going to come afterwards and stuff like this. But I'm going to try to condense this in maybe an hour presentation or 45 minutes or however long it takes, right? Hopefully it won't take longer than that. I might cut some corners to make sure it's digestible, okay? But what you need to do, what you need to do is not do, but highly recommend it that we put out two videos that are related to what we're about to talk about, okay? What we're about to talk about. Here is a video that we put out, okay? It's called understanding I titled on the as you can see that's the thumbnail for it right understanding uh, current events and let me give the link to the people in the live stream and what I titled this video as uh, I named it watch this video to understand current events geopolitics the markets investing and more and it's ASMR nice and chill the way we're doing right now and I put M1 in there because it's related to the M1 money supply. So here's the link. And this goes to my Patreon page because uh, this video is available on BitChute, Rumble, and SensorTube. And I synced up Odyssey and SensorTube after we put out this video. So hopefully it's available on Odyssey as well. I do need to take a look at it to see if it's available on there. And we put this out in February 2021 two years ago okay so this video we put out two years ago and here's another video that is connected to this and we put this out around the same time so someone mentioned GameSpot Stop. this is uh, another video we put out regarding uh, the markets what was happening with the GameStop uh, stock share with naked short selling and stuff like this and uh, the thumbnails for this says uh, Wall Street, GameStop, and Wall Street bets, what it all means. And here's a link again to the Patreon page that we put out with links to BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. That's where the video was uploaded and most likely will be on, um, uh, sorry, on SensorTube and most likely will be on Odyssey as well. And I titled this video, Understanding Wall Street and the Action on GameStop, Wall Street bets, what it all means live segment and again this is a part of a live segment the way we're doing right now and this is the link for it and you can find the link for these uh, for the videos on these um, on these uh, two links right both videos uh, I would say for this video uh, the top video is more important to watch because this is about money supply right this is about interest rates and I forget who it was. I think it was Sleepy Waves two days ago when we were doing um, our other live stream. We were talking about investing in personal finance. Sleepy Waves asked uh, to give a better explanation of what interest rates are, right? And I, you know, went off on a little two-minute rant or something like this, five-minute rant. I can't remember. And in that rant, the, sh the shortest, the quick quickest uh, explanation of what interest rates are interest rates are you can think about it as the cost of money how much it costs you to get money right that's the that's the best way to think about it right so when interest rates are zero it costs you nothing to get free money right you they just give you money here here's money pay us back whenever no interest right okay that's free money when interest rates are zero when interest rates go negative they're giving away money and you better do something with it because the money's losing its value all the time right when interest rates go up it means it costs you money to get money right there's a certain cost associated for getting a certain amount of funds okay important to keep this in mind the top video goes through this and talks about some of the implication of the money dump that occurred in the last two years and we're going to talk about this as well so um, I'll have the links in the description of this video after the fact when it's been uploaded. Okay. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, Chicho, would you ever tutor someone privately on how to play the markets? Obviously, I would pay you for each class. I feel like I've been watching your stream for years, but I still haven't fully gotten a grip on anything. Now, here's the kicker, Sleepy Waves. 
uh, it's like poker to be able to get a become a good poker player you can't just sit and watch and you can't not play for just no money you have to be in the markets begin trading to understand what's going on uh, I do tutor privately I'm, I'm not really uh, interested to tell you the truth right now to because I'm not in the markets I'm not interested in trading right now I mentioned I'm you know I pull go in and out of the markets but I mentioned that uh, when I pulled out uh, what was it uh, I forget how many months ago I said okay I'm not playing it but if I was playing it I'll be short right uh, long certain things but mainly short so it, it, it's a cycle you need to learn uh, and by the way everybody cannot be a trader everybody cannot be a trader a lot of people don't have the capacity to become a trader so keep that in mind trading is just something you can learn how to do and some people are not uh, are not made for that a lot of people are not made for that right uh, you have to disconnect yourself from your emotions okay Ronnie Chicho do you feel the US dollar should never have been unpegged uh, to the gold standard um, they had no choice they printed so much in 1971 71 72 73 when did it occur 71 I think Nixon did it uh, people came calling for gold uh, bringing back money saying give us gold this says paper says we can redeem this for gold and the US said get lost we don't have that much gold to give you so they unpegged it and then they pegged it to uh, the petrodollar right made it a petrodollar uh, it, it, it it's too late to peg it against gold now like you can't do it it's impossible okay uh, with a new system coming up possibly uh, but right now is no man's land right now is no man's land okay uh, so gang let's talk about what just took place last week on Thursday and what was the date on this Thursday uh, March 9th uh, 2023 and here's here's the one the company that we're going to talk about let me let me put this up this is uh, Silicon Valley. This is a chart of Silicon Valley for five-year chart for Silicon Valley uh, Bank Financial Group, right? It was considered to be, I think, the 17th largest bank in the United States at the time, which was last week, right? It was rated as uh, five years in a row as one of the most solid banks by Forbes, I believe. It highly regarded by every financial advisor you can think of in every banking financial firm you can think of people praising this thing left and right left and right considered to be it, it was basically like triple a um, subprime mortgages that they were selling in the early 2000s right uh, before people realized the Securities Exchange Commissions and all these rating companies that rated these mortgages as AAA were just BSing, right? They were lying. It's the same type of thing that happened with, to a certain degree, not, not as much. Madoff was a different game, but in regards to uh, how the financial system is run in the United States of America, it's pretty much the same thing, the same problems you see with. Um, Silicon Valley Bank as you did with Madoff right so for example Madoff scam occurred right and uh, they brought on the the securities exchange person that was supposed to be the watchdog watching over uh, you know the Madoff type of funds and they put her on the stand and asked her hey what's going on how come you didn't see this happening and she said and she cried on the stand this is government <laughs> government watchdog right that's supposed to be protecting regular Joe Blow me and you from scams like Madoff and the uh, savings and loans in the 1980s and the subprime mortgage crisis and this is related what's going on right now with silver 
um, a Silicon Valley bank is related to interest rates and bonds and and uh, flushing money down the toilet really and people doing things which zero thought involved with them they, they put her on the stand asked her well, how could Madoff get away with this for multiple years to the tune of 50 billion dollars right and she cried on a stand and said the math was too hard for me to understand right which is why we're doing this right the math was too hard according to the government regulator that was supposed to be watching over the Madoff scam cried on the stand saying the math was too hard for her to understand what was happening so they said it was a good good investment right good fun to put your money in right same type of excuses came up for the subprime mortgage crisis same type of excuses that are being laid out right now for silicon valley bank and the multiple other banks i think three other banks have uh, also failed two or three other banks have also failed in the last few days and this could be the tip of the iceberg if the fed is going to continue to raise interest rates which in my opinion to a certain degree they are because they need a strong dollar and the repercussions of this will be more consolidation in the banking industry where the bigger banks are going to gobble up all these little smaller banks now uh, silicon valley bank wasn't that small i mean if you want to see what the market cap of silicon valley bank was if you go all the way down here you see up here you see something there's previous close year range and then market cap you see market cap was 6.28 billion dollars right and uh, um oh god the math was too hard <laughs> go get a job in the indeed so market cap when it was at trading at 106 dollars and by the way this is a screen cap i grabbed for thursday okay uh and the stock was down 60 percent on friday pre-market uh the stock was down another 50 percent, so it was trading around 50 dollars and it never opened up so in pre-market if you could dump your shares you saved a little bit of your money right otherwise the the stock didn't trade anymore and if you had stock in this in this company done zero right so right now on thursday when i guess the poop hit the fan the stock was trading at 106 dollars and its market cap was 6.2 billion dollars if you go back a year right right the same uh area on the table down here in the top you see your year range the high for the year was around 600 dollars and if we say this was at a hundred dollars right if the stock was trading the screen cap that we have right now at a hundred dollars was worth six billion dollars multiply that by six so this thing a year ago was worth 36 billion dollars right the market capitalization on it and the year it went down to what you see here the day before this it was down 60 percent was trading like a week before this was trading around 320 dollars right so triple what you're seeing right now okay and a few hours before and a few couple of days before the management of this bank were selling their shares dump 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 and they sent out bonuses a few hours to the management uh before the stock before you see what happens here right before the stock was halted right before the government took over the bank right they were sending out bonuses to management so please appreciate that this didn't come out of the blue this was known what was going on Pe people this was it insiders knew what was going on and as i mentioned with this video doop, doop, let me put it up here this video that we put out in 20, february 2021 at the beginning of uh, 2021 right two years plus two years and three months two years and two months ago we talked about what was about to happen with the banking system with the institutions with with the markets with inflation right we talked about what this was going to do right so we knew and if you've been following the videos we've been doing personal finance investing trading and all this stuff and current events stream, you know what we knew right and the investments that the management at this bank was doing went contrary to what we're do what we were saying but when the shit was about to hit the fan the management was selling all their stocks so they're pulling out their monies okay 
we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this. So that's sort of the intro of what we're about to do. Okay. I'm just going to read the chat for uh, a couple of seconds. Uh, Ronnie, too many institutions have excellent credit, uh, credit, but I'm sure they're far from being excellent. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to read these things really quick, right? Uh, Lextab, they were like 16th biggest bank or something quite big. Yeah, they were the 17th, I believe, largest bank and considered to be one of the five years in a row, considered to be one of the most stable banks, according to Forbes magazine, right? That tells you how deep the scam goes. Okay. Ronnie, exactly. Uh, SVB sold millions of dollars of shares indeed. And they took up bonuses. The CFO or something chief sold... Uh, sold like 30 percent of the thing and he, here's the thing if you want to know how 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 corrupt this whole thing is here's a link here's a link i'm going to link it up in the chat i'll link it up in the description of this video as well okay this this is one of the um one of the management that was working for uh silicon valley bank right joseph gentile is the chief administrator officer of s vb right in his resume like little intro he was involved with lehman brothers which was involved in the uh the subprime mortgage uh a crisis in the mid 2000s and basically involved in one of the greatest scams in u.s history right and if you i read the comments in this link to this post and this guy was actually involved with arthur anderson as well which was connected with enron so this management top management was involved with enron and the subprime mortgage uh, crisis crisis scam right and now this one and he got his bonuses he got he got everything that he wanted to get right so keep this in mind one of the reasons we have to hold people accountable which why we constantly every 15 minutes we have a little comment coming on saying free assange free assange free assange why because julian assange publisher and journalist has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity to me and you right transparency and accountability we have one person here that was involved in the last 20 years right now considered to be three of the largest collapses in u.s history right enron supply mortgage collapse and silicon valley bank the same dude was in top management right what are we doing with people like this who are reporting who are trying to bring us bring shine a light to this darkness we have them sitting in jail in the UK with the US government, UK government, Swedish government, and the Australian government coll collaborating to torture a person that is trying to shine a light on this darkness, right? Insanity, insanity, right? Keep this in mind, keep this in mind. Extremely important, right? So let's, with that intro given, right uh sorry about the long intro because you have to appreciate that this is a very uh i wouldn't say intricate but it's a long-term game at play right the end result by the way is going to be consolidation of more power centralization of more power elimination of smaller local banks with all the funds going to centralized banking and the rollout of centrally uh central bank digital currencies where they're trying to eliminate cash and basically enslave humanity right these same people that have done this scams 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 with regulators that don't know the mathematics cry on the stand saying they didn't understand the mathematics so they gave it a triple a rating okay these same scammers and these same incompetent people want to centralize currency centralize the way me and you do commerce limit our capacity to do commerce okay limit our capacity to do business control every aspect of what we do tax the living crap out of it 
right? Take more and more so they can pay out themselves more and more. Okay, keep this in mind, the root of the problem, which is why this stuff is not taught in centralized indoctrination centers, because they want slaves to continue to fund this scam, to fund this Ponzi scheme, right? What the buck? Oh, seven. First time chat. Hey, everyone. Chicho, you damn man. You the man. Thanks. And welcome to our live stream. Welcome to our live stream. Gang, I'm going to sleep with it. Let's, let's get into uh, get into it, Chicho. Let's get into it. That's the, that's the intro. Now, gang, if you took a look at this video we put out two years ago, okay, I'm going to give you a really quick lowdown on this, okay? This was this video was basically I called it I'm going to say it again. I called it watch this video to understand current events, geopolitics, the markets, investing and more. OK, so here's the kicker. Here is what the the sort of what was laid in front of us before the Silicon Valley Bank thing occurred. Right. So basically uh, the Federal Reserve. Uh, and the government, Federal Reserve prints the money, the government spends the money. All right. So the government was spending a lot. Why? Because in 2020, 2020, right, we had something take place in the world where the world went into lockdown, the economy, they centralized power, ground the economy to a halt, right? And then in 2021, from 2020 to 2021, they started pumping money into the system. Started pumping money into the system. This is a gigantic dollar sign. We're not talking about a little bit of money, 10% of what was there. Um, the amount of money, if you watch that video, if you watch that video, you understand that 40% of the total money supply that they had put out into the market, okay, for the last 100 years was put out during this period, right? Wow, 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 wow. Now, all the way to 2022, Okay, more money printing, more money printing, more money printing, more money printing, more money printing. Interest rates at near zero. Interest rates near zero. In Europe, they were negative. Okay, in Europe, they were negative. So this is the money they're printing. Up. Lots of money, lots of money, lots of money, lots of money, lots of money lots of money lots of money and we're going into 2023 and money printing sort of tr started trickling down in the mid 2020s right they started tapering 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 which means they started taking money out of the system out of the system even though in february 24 2023 uh 2022 we had war begin, right? So there was another major event taking place, right? So energy prices going through the roof and stuff like this. So what happened here while this stuff was going on, interest rates stayed flat. Interest rates flat. Interest rates flat. 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 This is when at the beginning of 2021, where we put out the videos, right? This video, this video, and this video we put out talking about the free money and stuff like this, what would, what that was going to do. And you can see at the top, in the top right, where, where is it? If you go all the way to the end, you'll see, you'll see a chart like this, the money supply going like this, going like this, going, and then it went like this, right? This was money being pumped into the system. Oh, you're not seeing that. So let me take these guys down. Oops, sorry. So basically went like this, went like this. And this is the money supply, M1. The fast money, they call it, right? This is money and this is time, right? Time, money. And 
in a year time poof, they pumped in this much money into the system now when we made that video in 2021 we said this is going to bring on inflation this is a lot of money a lot of money into the market right they gave this money to wall street they gave this money to billionaires they gave this money to major corporations okay and they gave handouts crumbs they threw it to the masses you could sit at home and collect money right this continued by the way after we did that video in 2021 this continued this continued okay this continued in 2022 or so they started tapering they started taking a little bit of money out of the system all right throughout this whole period interest rates stayed flat zero basically zero zero or near zero right flat 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 and at about mid to 2021 interest rates started going up maybe a little bit earlier right interest rates started kicking up kicking up kicking up kicking up okay keep this in mind keep this in mind okay and this here is 2020 I should have lined it up here so let's line it up so you see we can line everything up who did the bailout with this money during the pandemic uh, the government the bureaucrats right so let's lay this out here so we had well the money supply would be this how do we do this here's the dollar right m1 right and the money was flat money was flat forever 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 a little bit up in uh, in the mid 2000s right it would be sort of back here i guess it would be like this it would be like this and then here it just went through the roof right just astronomical astronomical now that's who did the government bail out the government most of this money went to wall street and went to billionaires okay small percentage i haven't looked into the percentage of how much but like exactly i don't have it handy right now i should have had that handy but it was like six trillion dollars or ten trillion dollars like a lot of money right so six trillion dollars let's kick it down a notch so six trillion dollars right six trillion dollars huge chunk of that went to went to companies money laundering through wall street and billionaires okay now this is important this is important okay why is this important because this continued this continued this continued this continued this continued and and then started tapering off right started tapering off okay now remember interest rate zero 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 and then they started going up okay they they're right now sitting at four percent someone correct me if i'm wrong around four percent maybe let's say around four percent so right now interest rates four percent actually it's not four percent it's like 3.75 prime right prime is what banks how much banks can get money for me and you couldn't get zero percent interest by the way this is if, if you did a a special deal where you bought cars and stuff you could get zero percent interest if you bought a car and stuff back then right but this is zero percent interest for and in Europe negative for big money they can get it from the government right <laughs> from Federal Reserve right Central's bank here have some free money I wish I could line up for that to get some free money right but right now let's say what is it 3.75 percent four percent let's round it off four percent right four percent four percent and before last week right before last week right before silicon valley bank last thursday people are still expecting or were still expecting interest rates to kick up right because the federal reserve was kicking this stuff up hard all central banks were kicking it up hard 0 0.75 0 0.75 three basis points two basis points and last time they raised one basis point right Tw uh, 20 uh, 0.25 percent right if you want to buy a home in Colombia the bank charges you 12 percent here 
even bigger crooks out there. Uh, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Okay. So this is what is at play with uh, Silicon Valley Bank, right? Because what just took place was this. Here's Silicon Valley Bank. SVB, right? Silicon Valley Bank, okay? Uh, they were kicking up interest rates uh, every month, basically, uh, sleeper waves. They were kicking up uh, interest rates every month, every two months, every quarter, every, th every three months they were kicking up interest rates. Or every two months, uh, 50 basis points, 75 basis points, or three basis points, 0.75%. 0.5%, 0.25, the last one, right? So this is Silver City Bank. And here's a whole bunch of people that work, well, not Silver City, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, Silver City Bank, Silicon Valley Bank. Here's a whole bunch of people that are working for Silicon Valley Bank. Some of them, top hats, big boys, right? Top hats, top hats, top hats, right? Some of these people working here, have big hair, funny hair, right? Some of them no hair, like me, right? So there's a very diverse group of people working for Silicon Valley Bank. Okay, let's bring out a green Silicon Valley Bank. If we're gonna do this, might as well do it in different colors, eh? Should we use a little purple and pink? Let's use purple and pink because it's very diverse. Purple and pink. So we know what we're talking about. Purple and pink. There's purple dude or dudettes. And we have pink dudettes. We got pink hairs and purple hairs and whatever hairs you want and no hairs, right? Pink hairs and purple hairs and no hairs. Lots of different people. Lots of top hat people. Now the top hat people are the same people that were managing, right? Managing uh, banks and funds with Enron, with the supply mortgage crisis and whatnot, right? Same type of people, same people. One of them we just linked up, right? These people went, cool, we're running Silicon Valley Bank in Silicon Valley, California. Big tech, big tech. Big tech, big tech, big tech. Let's do big tech in red. So a lot of these companies, big tech companies, 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 right? A lot of these companies were getting lots and lots of money. Lots of money coming in, 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 lots of money coming in. Why was there lots of money coming in? Because it was being pumped in. How was it being pumped in? Why was it being pumped in? Because another thing that was happening was this. In 2020, the stock market crushed, right? Went from 32,000, 30,000 down to 18,000 Dow uh, in the United States, right? And all markets across the board collapsed, right? When the stock market collapsed, stocks stock market here let's put it here stocks 2020 went from 32,000 right to down to 18,000 down to 18,000 it was a little bit lower than 18,000 might have been 30,000 whatever you get the gist and we've done videos on this I, I, I didn't queue them up you have to follow our personal finance and math videos to see some of the stuff that we've talked about, right? Plummeted, and I think we talked about it here in this video. We probably did with the M1 video as well, right? We probably talked about this. Joe Chicho, looks, looks like I'm an hour late. Canada was eight hours behind UK, now it's seven. The clock kind of changed, I, it changed. It changed one hour, right? And you didn't miss too much because, well, you missed a little bit. Uh, because we're 15 minutes late, my modem kicked out, so I had to restart, and they did a long intro to this thing. Okay, so apologies. Uh, 
we haven't got into we're laying out everything right now we haven't got into doing the mathematics to see what the problem was we're laying it out right now right so the layout is this 2020 lockdown everything collapses market goes down money gets pumped in money gets pumped in how much money gets pumped in goes from here to here basically doubles the money supply cumulative doubles the money supply all-time money supply into the markets right wait, 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 wait. now we're seeing a little bit tapering interest rates goes from zero to four percent quick summary and while this money is being pumped in doo -doo -doo, to inflate the stock market again woo, woo, woo. up you go up you go to thirty six thousand right up you go to thirty six thousand right what was going on most of this money that was being pumped you know joe below here was getting a little bit me and you well i didn't i didn't sign up for none of that crap uh, because i don't want me to be dependent on the government for my livelihood or my life and i highly recommend you do not either okay but most of this money that was being pumped in was going to wall street companies insiders billionaires big top hat people right these top hat people were laughing it up top hats woohoo top hats woohoo give us billions give us billions it got so ridiculous that some of these people had to give, give the money back because people were so pissed right people were so pissed right well these guys got lots of money what are they going to do with the money they're going to put it in their shoebox no they got they got billions hundreds of billions they pumped in six trillion plus some it's some uh, by by some accounts they pumped in like an extra 10 trillion dollars into the markets right you can't keep trillions of dollars in your home you can't keep it in your shoe box uh you can't go out and buy six trillion dollars worth of goat gold right <laughs> top hats is close enough top hats is close enough right you can't you, you got to do something with this money right so what happened a lot of these people boop, started dumping money into banks right they put their money in banks they hire they hire they hire a lot of people a lot of diverse people a lot of diversity going on here right? they hire a lot of people right? they hire a lot of people they hire a lot of people what other colors do we have let's put an orange Let's put an orange person here. Let's put an orange person here. All right. They hire a lot of people. Okay. So you see ballooning of the tech sector. Zari, how you doing? Start the stream over. I just got here. You're not missing much. <laughs> You're missing a little bit. <laughs> you started seeing ballooning of tech sector, right? A lot of companies couldn't hire people there's no people to hire there's sh labor shortage right because they got trillions of dollars right they start hiring people we need someone to be our image consultant someone to do our twitter feeds or multiple people to do our twitter feeds right someone has to dress our employees because they have to look the part right so there's a lot of excess excesses in these companies these companies used to function with 10 or 20 people working there all of a sudden they're getting uh commercial real estate they're hiring 200 people they're doing all this jazz right which is one of the reasons when Elon Musk took over Twitter he started laying off a ton of people which is why Amazon laying off thousands of people Microsoft is now laying off thousands of people Apple is laying off thousands but a lot of these tech Tesla is laying off. a lot of these companies are now getting rid of the excess weight right because the money is drying up why is the money drying up because interest rates are going up so the cost of getting money is becoming more expensive they got cheap money for two years right in the uk they were getting cheap money for 10 years in the united states and canada too interest rates were really low for 10 years right very very low very very low right just pumping the crap out of it why were they doing this for 10 12 14 years because of the subprime mortgage crisis that we talked about in the previous video 
the well we talked a little bit about it i wrote a lot about it back then in the mid 2000s late 2000s right they started pumping the crap out of the markets cheap money cheap money inflate inflate the housing market inflate the stock market inflate everything right free money everybody free money everybody oh 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 no more free money no more fun no more free so before we get to the no more free money which is what's happened with the bank runs right you had all this money going in to the banks and the banks is sitting here the silicon valley bank silicon valley bank is sitting here going we got lots of money Woo! oh this is not working how come this is not working hm. this guy's dead can't be dead i was just using it I guess it doesn't want to be used. Let's use this one. Oh, that one's over there. It's this guy over here. This guy started, they started getting lots of money. All this money, 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 all this. I could do this all day, all this money, all this money, right? Now, these people some of these people were putting the money into this bank and banks like it and other banks as an investment right and then silicon valley bank and other banks take some of this money and they loan it out Woo! some of this money goes out to other companies new startups new companies that want money to run a business right to start a business but a lot of this money was sitting on the sides because a lot of these companies were using banks like this to do their pay um, payrolls, right? So they needed the money to sit there as cash because they were paying their employees. All these people they hired, all these people they hired, right? Because we're getting free money. Let's hire a lot of people. That way we can grow really fast and beat out the competitors, right? Beat them out, beat them out, beat them out, beat them out, right? We, we need lots of people to work together because we got to do better than that guy and 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 that guy. We, we got to hire the big thinkers and the pretty colorful people, right? So they needed the money in the accounts to pay all these people, not just these people, but these people that they had over here, all these colorful people that they all had over here, right? Should we do more colorful people? Let's do a little bit more colorful people here. Lots of these people, colorful, colorful people, color, color. Lots of, lots of virtue signaling going on here. We have, I mean, if you look at the U.S. administration right now, they're not talking about the, the qualifications of people. They're talking about people's colors, right? If you look at the U.K. right now or Scotland right now, the person that most likely is going to be Prime Minister of Scotland came out and said we have too many white people in power right way too many white people control everything we need to get colorful people so exactly what has been happening or was happening with the corporations is now happening with governments right keep that in mind it has been happening for quite some time but now they're kicking it into overdrive because they're in deep poop because this model is not working i want to show you why this model is not working all right so these companies needed their money in here as cash, free flowing cash to be able to pay all these colorful people, all right? to be able to pay all of these people that have been hired. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's delusional, Scott. Yeah, it's delusional, crazy, right? So what happened with these colorful people working with Silicon Valley Bank and other banks like it because I think three banks, four banks were seized by the government over the weekend, right? Or three banks at least, right? 20 banks, their stocks trading was halted yesterday, right? Monday morning, okay? You couldn't trade them because they were down 50% or something like this, right? So these colorful people here went, man, we got all this money. How much money? How much money? Let me give you a link for silicon valley bank because i pulled this out and where is it where is it i've read a fair bit hopefully i can find it again I, I swear i had it here 
boing, do -de ding boom. Oh, I don't have it here. Uh, hold on, where is it? Uh, very good. Fed FCC discussing backstop. Here's one person you can follow. I can't remember if this was uh, in this. Oh, no, no, no. This is the one. Oh, I'm going to give you a mainstream article. <laughs> that way people can't say, oh, this is this is not true. Oh, it is true. It is true. It is true. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. But it had. Doop. Yeah, here. Let me give you this. Doop, be, doop, boop, boop, boop. Money, money, money. Free money. Not for me and you, though. <laughs> here's here's one here here's here's an article from from uh market watch now take everything you read on market watch with a gigantic grain of salt okay do not take and by the way this is not financial advice and i highly recommend not being financial advice not to take financial advice from articles you read on market watch right in general when i'm trading i'm usually doing the opposite of what they're recommending right so if they're pumping a certain stock I'd be interested in shorting it. If they're trashing a certain stock, I'd be interested in buying it, right? So I'm gonna read a couple of paragraphs here. Uh, first, a quick look at Silicon Valley Bank. So I'm just gonna read what they wrote, right? That way we have a base uh, talking, right? So, quote, some media reports have referred to Silicon Valley Bank of Santa Clara, California as a, as a small bank but it had 212 billion in total assets as of December 31st, making it the 17th largest bank in the Russell 3000 index, RUA, as of December 31st. This makes this collapse the largest US bank failure since that of Washington Mutual in 2008. One unique aspect of Silicon Valley Bank was its decades long focus on the venture capital industry, Right? venture capital industry the bank's loan growth had been slowing as interest rates rose meanwhile when announcing its 21 billion in security sales on Thursday SVP SVB said it had taken the action not only to lower its interest rate risk but because client cash burn has client cash burn client cash burn has remained elevated and increased further in February resulting in lower deposits than forecast okay Silicon Valley Bank estimated it would look it would book a 1.8 billion loss on the security sale and it said it would raise 2.25 billion in capital through two offerings of new shares and convertible bond offerings that offering wasn't completed we're going to talk about what all what all this means and we'll take a look at at the implications of this by the way apologies if i read a little bit ahead of what we're about to do so basically general gist was this these guys got a ton of money ton of money put all the money in the banks because they needed cash they needed the cash flow to be uh, to pay employees and they, by the way they took out a lot of loans a lot of these companies aren't cash flow positive so they're riding on loans they got their loans to start up their companies at zero percent or very low interest rates or just with stock options right so the banks would take a chunk of the company and or uh, what do you call it uh, venture capital money seed money and take the stock to market and then make mint off the stock price going up as they're selling it on the way up right when the stocks get suppressed these guys lose a certain amount of cash flow because they can't offer more shares and they can't sell their stocks to top half people or the company itself right so they started as interest rates started kicking up their cash flow became less and less now these colorful people and top hat people working at silver um silicon valley bank when they had all this awesome money just sitting in an account billions of dollars by some accounts some accounts these people at boop, hey, where did this go these people at oh, this thing's not loading poop oh we lost one of the pages that i had set up maybe because of technical difficulties we were facing unfortunately unfortunately okay i'm going to give you an estimate because i can't i can't pull the number up no it's not loading unfortunate unfortunate 
Uh, let me do this one more time. Maybe we get it. Oh, I know where I can get it. I may know where I can get it. I can go to our Gilded server. Here, I'll give you the Gilded link because I posted it in there. Um, here, I'll put it up in our... Oh, here we go. Doink. I want to be here. Uh, because I link up some of the stuff, some of the stuff I come across. You can go to the Gilded. Let me go here. And we want to go to the personal heavy topics, personal finance. I think it's in the personal finance stuff. And it was just a post someone made on a forum. Okay. And I confirmed the stuff uh, by, uh, by reading other articles. And I didn't link up those articles because this was a good summary of it, right? And if you go to our Gilded server, go to personal finance, uh, here's a link, but it's not popping up. Let me see if it's gonna pop up. Uh, no, the good thing I copied and pasted this stuff, right? So you need to go to our personal finance. Let me see if I can link it up in our copy link, copy message link. There we go. Here we go, game. You can get this link right here. Ch -ch -ch. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat. I just need to be able to get this idea across. So according to the per person that messaged this link, right? There's one thing that he, that he mentions here. So this is the important part that we're going to look at right now, right? And we're going to do the calculations for. The bank didn't have enough customers to give loans to, right? So they put eight, 80 billion into 1.56% yield, yield 10 year bonds. After inflation kicked up, interest rates went up, went up. So 10 year bonds are now 3.5% yield. That's the key. That's what we're going to look at, right? So, and the sentence previous to this, the problem was it's insane growth in 2021. Okay. Uh, in 2021, it had 80 billion in deposits, which grew to 110 billion in 2021. Okay. You get that gang? So they had 80 billion in deposits, which grew to 110 billion in 2021, right? This is the money supply coming in. This is the money being handed out, 0% interest to all these people and top hat people. The money coming in here, here's the money that they're lending out to startups and companies and stuff like this and getting interest payments from that, right? So market washes itself, right? They weren't getting too much interest, but at least there is a company that's giving them interest. Their money is making money. But they had all this money, okay? $80 billion of it, okay, and more sitting there in bank accounts for these corporations that are using this money to pay all the colorful people that they hire them to pay their expenses, to pay for cost of commodities going up, inflation, inflation, right? Because one of the most important things that took place here was inflation, inflation, the target inflation is 2% for the Fed, right? It's 2% for the government, right? Let me take on this girl there. But inflation has kicked up, kicked up. In the United States, it was hit like 9%. In Germany, we're into double digits, teens. In Europe, we're into teens and what, what not. Right. Some places were up to 18 percent in the Western world. Some places were up to 12 percent in the Western world. In some other countries, inflation was 50 percent, 100 percent, 75 percent, way higher than the target rate of 2 percent, which means interest rates needed to kick up. Interest rates needed to kick up. Right. And they still need to kick up and they still need to kick up. OK. Otherwise, we go into hyperinflation. And hyperinflation is 50% per week, right? We were talking Zimbabwe, okay? That's printing $6 trillion notes, right? Crazy insanity. So, all these people with all the money in here, these guys, colorful people working for a Silicon Valley Bank and other banks said, hey, we got 
80 billion dollars here. What are we going to do with this? All right? What are we going to do with this money? 80 billion dollars. Let's use something darker. 80 billion dollars. So according to this post and other posts that I've read, articles that I read, they took this money and bought 10-year bonds at 1.5%, locked in for 10 years. They bought bonds. They bought bonds. And you got to understand the stupidity, the stupidity of what they did. Me and you were making videos here two years ago saying they pumped up money like this interest rates are going to go up and we're going to see an inflationary scenario these colorful people that are being paid up the yin yang managing money from these colorful people and these colorful corporations that are getting free billions upon billions to the tune of six trillion plus right managing their money they decided in 2021 2022 before interest rates started kicking up to buy 10-year bonds lock in lock in billions upon billions of dollars billions upon billions of dollars of these companies funds into 10-year bonds that are paying 1.5 percent locked locked you don't got access to this unless you sell it right 10 years and you got to find the sucker to buy it right now these guys sales are down right economies locked down they can't they can't sell their product they can't sell their products there's inflation the cost of commodities has gone through the roof because you know Putin bad right so these companies are in a tight spot these companies are in a tight spot out comes the axe let's get rid of some of these colorful people right let's throw a couple of top hats under the bus right there go a couple of companies because they can't stay afloat right these loans are done these guys were paid out, right? But these guys are running short of money, so they need to lay them off. Now, these guys still have to pay people. Now, th these cutoffs are happening here now, right? Last couple of two, three months. For a year and a half, two years, these guys, this heavy weight, weighing down on the corporations, needed to be paid, right? So they needed to access their funds in uh, Silicon Valley Bank, right? And some of the, because the stocks were going down and some of these companies were crypto companies and the crypto markets went down, like the burn rate for some of the crypto companies was insane. Coinbase was burning through, I looked at the financials uh, last year, Coinbase was burning through $500 million per quarter. 500 million dollars per quarter why were they burning through that well because they were getting free money a colorful people hired at a very high rate right office building space lots of square footage basketball court inside the building nice pool hot tubs woohoo rock and roll free money right they're burning through 500 million dollars per quarter right so what happens stock plummets and these guys need to access their funds here to be able to pay these colorful people. Oh, crap. This money's locked up in 10-year bonds that are paying 1.5%. Right. What happened? Let's take a look at the mathematics of it now that it's been laid out. Okay. I'm going to take all this down and we're going to take a look at... We're going to do two calculations. Okay. We're going to look at how much in 10 years these colorful people thought they were going to make from their bonds that they put all these billions, $80 billion worth of 10-year bonds of 1.5%, whatever it was, right? 
insanity. I wouldn't give, I wouldn't, if I, had a, if I had a company, I wouldn't hire these guys to clean the toilet, right? Compared to how much those bonds are worth now when interest rates, 10-year bonds are selling for 3.5%, okay? Okay. Sipwe Chicho, they should have been watching so much Chicho content would have saved themselves all this chaos. I, I, I no, the, these, these people are in a bubble echo chamber right remember they're censoring information right they're censoring any discussion of anything they were censoring discussion on social platforms that these people were colorful people were participating in right anybody that was coming out and saying hey maybe locking down society is not a effing good idea because that's going to completely collapse the economy. Hey, maybe pumping in six, ten trillion dollars in the market is not a good idea because that's going to create inflation. Hey, maybe putting sanctions on a country that is one of the largest commodity producers in the world is not a good idea because that's going to create inflation. Maybe it'll kill the supply chain. But these people censored anyone that questioned their actions right question their actions so what's going on let's say let's say let's do this in this color it's coming out nice let's say Silicon Valley Bank Silicon Valley Bank bought 10-year bonds to the tune of at 1.5 percent okay oh let's put 10 year there let's go eight let's go 80 billion 80 billion dollars worth of bonds at 1.5 percent for a duration of 10 years 10 years and let's say they did this in 2021 okay they did it in 2021 so 2021 2021 they put in 80 billion dollars they mature in 2031 okay now to calculate how much they're going to be getting we need this formula we need this formula a is equal to P one plus R over N and T. It's the compound interest formula. Now we're not gonna the N represent compounding period per year. We're compounding once. So it's, we're gonna do it simply. Once a year, right? Why did they do that? Because they have free money. They ex they thought that this money was gonna continue to come in. They didn't realize that interest rates were gonna go up. That's that's the kicker. These colorful people People managing these banks, managing people's money, didn't think interest rates are going to go up because, like, I, I like, I, I really can't fathom how they could have thought interest rates were not going to go up, right? And they thought this supply of money, the six trillion that we drew, ten trillion dollars that was pumped into the market, and people getting money to stay at home and watch Netflix too stupid to be able to download if you're doing that i mean you don't even have to anyway right they got free money might as well subscribe to all these streaming services free money Woo! here you go give some more to wall street because they already got their bailouts right they thought this money supply was going to continue that everybody's going to flush with money that was their first mistake and they also didn't think interest rate was going to go up that was their second mistake so N is compounding period. We're going to do one. T is time in years. R is the rate of interest, right? This is the great reset void. Centralization of banking. You're going to see a lot of banks go under. The big banks most likely are going to gobble stuff up and they're going to try to introduce um, central bank digital currencies. We'll see if they're able to succeed. And by the way, it's the same colorful people managing this whole thing that they're doing, right? P is the principal for us is 80 billion. 
A is what you get out, right? So our calculation here is this. A, what you get out is that, is going to be 80 billion, 1 plus, and they're getting 1.5%, right? So it's going to be 0 0.015 to the tune of 10 years. Punch this in, gang. Let's see what we get. Punch this in. Let's see what we get. Okay, let me move my pencils here. I'll punch it in here, too, so we can confirm what we're getting. Right. So this is going to be 1.015, 1 1.015 to the power of, where's my power? Hey. Oh, I haven't changed the calculator for this. This is, uh, this is scientific. I want scientific. 1.01, 1 .01, this is the new computer, right? Uh, to the power of 10, boink, right? So it ends up, this gives you 80, and it's 1.16, right? Got it? So this means that really you're getting 16% after 10 years, cumulative, total 16% interest you've got on this. So you're 80 billion times 80. Da, 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 times a Boop. they get 92 billion dollars at the end of this they get 92 billion dollars so it becomes 92 billion okay they get 92 billion cool i saw an ad the other day i could you're watching Netflix for free money. Oh my God. <laughs> they need to kick off their subscription rates, right? So they get $92 billion, right? 10 effing years. <laughs> Meanwhile, keep in mind, inflation right now is 9%, 10%, 7%. Some places 20%, right? Now, in 2020, so a year later, so let's put 2022, 2022, right? Let's put the same amount of money in 10-year bonds. Let's say nine-year bonds because we want to end it at the same time. End it at the same time. Okay. I don't really get it. Is it 92 billion in addition to the... No, 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 no. They just made 12 billion. It total is 92. So they make... 12 billion dollars right after 10 years that's what it is sleepy waves right now let's say let's say you want to buy some bonds let's say you want to buy some bonds let's say you want to buy 80 billion dollars worth of bonds right 80 billion dollars worth of bonds you're going to put them in for nine years Right. So your maturity date is going to be 2031 as well, right? Nine years, but you're going to put it in at 3.5%, which is from what I understand, how it's, how much it is right now. Can't use the money anymore because it is bond. It's bonds. They can't use it unless they find a sucker to buy this bond. Right? Unless they find someone to buy it. We'll talk about this. You'll see, you'll see what happened. Right? So 3.5%. I know it's this much. It's actually more, a little bit more in Canada. Right? Because I know someone is doing uh, short-term bonds. Now, the, buying bonds is okay in a, in a sort of an unstable period. If the market's going down, you don't know what's going on. Buy three-month bond, one-month bond, one-year max bonds. Right? 10 years, right? So let's do the same calculation. A is equal to 80, 1 plus 0 0.035 to the power of 9. So if you, you wanted to spend, you wanted to take $80 billion and buy bonds, In nine years, at 3.5%, this is what you would get if you invested in 2022, right? 
So what do we got? 1.035. And there are nuances to this. There are nuances to this, by the way, gang. Okay. Uh, we're taking very simple road to the power of uh, one, uh, 109 billion. Thank you. But let, let me do this. To the power of, just confirm. I always try to confirm, but it's good to get the confirmation. So we get, and I want this number out of it, eight, you get uh, 1.362, right? And that's basically saying that you're getting 36% interest in that nine year period. Okay, total, right? Keep that in mind. This was 0.1, so it was 16% versus 36%, right? So times 80 point, you get 1.9, uh, sorry, 109 billion, right? 109 billion okay oh you guessed <laughs> nice oh my god <laughs> so if you're a person if you have 80 billion you're a top hat person you're a top hat person Woo! not a cowboy person a top hat person you could be a cowboy person you're a top hat person I got 80 billion dollars right I can put it in a bond right now, paying me 3.5%. We're in 2023 right now, by the way. Bond might be a little bit higher. Who knows? I can put it in a bond at 3.5% for nine years and get back 109 billion. Or I can decide to buy this bond that's already a year in, right? Year in. Because if these guys are getting... 1.5%, let's do 1.5% for this. If you do a calculation a year in, this calculation is going to be uh, 0 0 0.015, uh, 1.015 times 80. This one, <laughs> this, this bond, <laughs> this bond is 81 point, oh, what was it? 81 point, what? 81 point two. It is 81.2 billion, right? In 2022, right? In 2022, this bond is now 80, is worth 81. <laughs> if you include the interest it's gotten, is worth 81.2 billion, right? They got a long way to go. They got nine more years of this, right? I'm a top hat person. And if, if I'm going to buy this bond, and what these, <laughs> these colorful people bought it at, these colorful people bought this, this, oh, we can't use that one color. We're going to use an orange guy. These colorful people paid $80 billion in 2021, right? 2021. And their bond is now worth, well, according to what they paid. They got this much interest on it. 81.2 billion. They're going to go buy another pool, right? I'm a top hat person. I can, you know, these guys are trying to sell me their bond, right? They're trying to sell me their bond. Why? Because companies are having a little bit of liquidity crisis, right? They need to access their payroll. They need to, they need to pay for rent. They need to pay for their commodities uh, that have gone up up in price right to make whatever it is that they're making to sell to the public to be able to get some money so they can do it again all right so for example facebook someone posted this in our guild server facebook virtual reality thing is not really hot potato <laughs> or it is a hot potato but it's not really a hot thing that people people want to buy you got to be some kind of special to put that thing on to look at zuckerberg in 3d <laughs> yikes right so facebook took their product that was i didn't even notice i thought it was like cheaper than this supposed to be selling for 1500 and is slashing it taking off 500 dollars off the price they're selling it for two-thirds the price 
I, I don't know why you would pay a thousand dollars with that thing. As far as I was concerned, that's like a calculator in 1980s. That virtual reality set, set should be like twenty dollars, right? Meanwhile, these guys that are making the virtual reality set, there's commodities involved with this, there's inflation involved with that. Uh, it's costing them more to make now than it did two years ago, right? So this top hat person, these colorful people are trying to sell, get this guy's eighty billion dollars and saying, Hey, come come here, we got bonds for you. Ten year bonds. We have to sell these bonds because 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 the companies that have trusted us with their money to keep in the bank account and we just didn't want to leave in the bank account and not make it work we got to make the money work right so we can make more money right we sort of locked up their money their payrolls in these 10-year bonds now they need access to that money some of these companies want their whole all of their money out right i think uh Coinbase pulled out $50 billion from Silicon Valley Bank, from what I understand, right? They closed their account. They wanted it all out. Silicon Valley Bank is in trouble. They need to sell these bonds now to get all that money to pay back to the people that put the money in, right? Well, this top hat person goes, well, screw you. <laughs> Why would I give you $81.2 billion dollars? To get back $92 billion, well, right now, I can take $80 billion and get back $109 billion. $109 billion. Why would I? How much is that? That's a difference of $17 billion. $17 billion. Why would you buy this bond? You wouldn't is the answer. You wouldn't is the answer. But these guys needed to sell it. These guys needed to sell it. Right? What did they do? What did they do? They sold it. But they sold them at a discount. They didn't sell it for $81.2 billion. They sold it for 20% less discount, discount, right? So take 80, let's say 80 billion, multiply it by 0.8, which is 20% less. They sold it for 64 billion around there. There's nuances involved with this, by the way, gang. I'm just taking, uh, you know, doing it simple, right? So they sold it for $64 billion, probably even less, $64 billion, right? They just took, if they invested $80 billion, $16 billion hit, $16 billion hit, god damn, right? Wait a second, wait a second, they couldn't have taken $16 billion, yeah, I think they did because they were managing a shit ton of money. Right, they were managing a lot of money, right? Because why was this a problem? Well, this was a problem because because of the chart here. SVB. What's SVB's market cap? Oh snap! Wait, 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 wait. Go back here. Look at the market cap. Six point two billion on Thursday. Okay, a year ago, multiplied by six, it was. 36 billion they could have taken a 16 16 billion hit they could have taken a 16 billion hit right 80 billion to 64 billion minus minus 16 billion right let's do this in let's do this in what are we going to do it in so it stands out let's do this in dark green minus 16 billion right a year ago when their company was worth 36 billion they could have probably taken a 16 billion dollar hit but when their company is worth 6 billion they can't take a 16 billion dollar hit they can't even take a 5 billion dollar hit or a 3 billion dollar hit 
That's why on Friday morning, pre-market, their stock was selling for $50, 50% less, 50% less, right? Now, this is the mathematics of it, okay? This is the mathematics of it. The shenanigans before the mathematics is the stage, right? Now, again, this is not financial advice. These numbers are not set in stone. This is me reading a whole bunch of different articles and deciding last night really to go, oh, you know what, instead of trigonometry, it'd be really cool to do personal finance and explain some of this shit, right? explain some of the shenanigans that's going on and maybe prepare people for what might be coming okay so take these numbers with a grain of salt okay the bank uh, market cap was 36 billion that we know for sure a little bit more 36 billion plus a year ago okay their deposits would have been into the uh, huge right this number, not a hundred percent sure if they put they bought eighty billion dollars worth of bonds or it was forty billion dollars worth of bonds or what it was. I couldn't find one of the articles that I've read in the last few days. Okay, uh, I only have so much time to prep for this. So look into it. How much? How much uh, bonds? Someone said they lost uh, this. Uh, that link I gave you. The person said they lost um, in when tr they sold they didn't sell all the bonds they had by the way you don't have to sell all of it by the way so these people that had, they bought um 80 billion dollars worth of 10-year bonds they didn't have to sell all of it to provide liquidity for the bank right keep that in mind i'm sort of going all in right they 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 might have only sold you know try to sell like 10 billion of it right so 10 billion okay. if they try to sell 10 billion of it to provide liquidity to the bank so they could pay whatever companies that were pulling their money out and make sure the payroll of companies were being satisfied they might have just had to sell 10 billion right well if they took thank you very much for the follow exo francis okay they might have only sold 10 billion but a 20 percent hit is a 20 percent hit that means they would have sold it for 8 billion right that means they lost 2 billion minus 2 billion well when a company is only worth 6 billion you lose 2 billion right if you lose 2 billion dollars you just lost a third of your market cap Right? That's why the the stock was dropping like a fly. Like, what do you call it? Rock? Dropping like an anchor? Dropping like a fly that was squatted? Boom, boom, boom. Right? And then what you had while this stuff was going on, while this stuff was going on, what did we have? What did we have? Bank run people lining up to take their money out of the bank i was on forums talking with people going there's a bank run they're like it's not a bank run the company's worth great its financials are fantastic they're part of forbes top banks in the world they're or in the united states they're 17th largest bank they have serious companies invested in them and i'm like dude there's people lined up to pull their money out and the doors are closed it's an effing bank run. It's not a bank run. Don't exaggerate. What is your agenda? <laughs> I'm like talking with people on forum. <laughs> it's like, dude, the stock's halted. There's people lined up trying to take their money out of the bank. The bank doors are closed. You can't get anybody on the phone and the ATMs aren't working. That's a bank run. And there was a bank run. So what happens with the bank run? Well, the bank needs to provide liquidity to its customers. That means it doesn't have to sell, only sell $10 billion or whatever billion dollars of bonds that they had locked in for 10 years of 1.5%. The colorful people 
put people's money in, right? They probably had to sell all of it to provide liquidity to their clients, right? It was a full on bank run. Okay, full on bank run. Okay, and that's one of the reasons I think two, three other banks got seized as well. And 20 banks, 20 or 30 banks, uh, their uh, stocks were traded, uh, halted for trading yesterday. And a lot of bigger banks are gobbling up some of these businesses. Some of the companies are going to go bankrupt. Some of the colorful people won't be able to pay rent. Uh, supposedly they can take their money out now, but this is just a, just you know that that what's that story of the, I think it's a Dutch story or something. The kids finds a hole in a dam and puts a finger in it, and then finds another hole, puts another finger in it. How many how many fingers and toes and how far can you go, right? So this is what's going on right now. Okay, this is what's going on right now. Be careful, gang. Be careful. Okay. Prepare for what is coming and make sure you work towards not allowing these colorful people and centralized power to introduce central uh, centralized bank digital currency, central bank digital currency, CB, um, D, uh, DCs. Okay. Make sure that this doesn't happen. Centrally back digital acronyms, acronyms, digital currencies. You do not want that. Okay, our society does not need that. It means this orders of magnitude more. Not only that, it means complete destruction of the economy, complete destruction of communities, complete destruction of our societies. It may not happen immediately, but that is the end game, the enslavement of humanity. Do not allow them to do this. Do not allow them to do this. Okay. Sleepy waves. Joseph Gentile not looking very helpful. No. Froggy Mano. The government hiking rates so much was hard to plan for if you're a bank CEO. Uh, no. It sh they should have been planning it. We knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. And I was telling my the, the people that come here, our community, to prepare for it. Okay. Two years ago, we put out this video, this video right here, two years ago. We put it out in 2021, February, January, February. We knew it was going to happen. You're telling me these top path people? And the colorful people working for banks got beautiful pieces of paper from Ivy League universities that they paid two hundred thousand dollar for this piece of paper. You're telling me they didn't know. They didn't know. That means we got morons running the economy and the government. And the ones that did know, they're corrupt people running the government uh, and our institutions. It's a. Th there is no there is no one there legit to fix this because there's no fixing this we have to create alternative forms of commerce and we have to make sure we do not allow them to take power away from us okay and enslave us because those are the same clowns that are about to do this that did this okay it's the same clowns that did the savings and loan in the 1980s it's the same clowns that did the Dot com bubble. It's the same clowns that that mad off. It's the same clowns that that the uh, subprime mortgage crisis. It's the same clowns. Same clowns. But play it in a sandbox. Let me take this guy down. I hope that's clear, gang. That's the way I see it, and we've been pretty much bang on the way we see it.